Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders. On this episode we're going to be taking care of map, um, excuse me, map 9, which is the secret map. It's called the Glacier and it's the secret map of Hell's Maw. And what I'm going to do first is get rid of these little pods here. I'm going to switch weapons out because I'm low on ethereal arrows. And I'm going to go ahead and take care of these saber claws here because it would be nice if we got rid of them somehow. Slowly but surely. I really don't like all these gargoyles. There's going to be another area soon where we're going to have to deal with even more gargoyles, but we'll make it. We'll manage. Um, by the way, there's a couple enemies down in here, so I want to go ahead and draw them out. We're not in any rush, so there's no point in trying to give a little bit too much uh, close combat with this. So I think we'll be okay. All right, moving right along, moving right along. I'm gonna dodge these here. Um, another gargoyle. Okay, and remember there's gonna be some more gargoyles and enemies on the side here, so we have to deal with those. And I cornered myself, which I didn't want to do, but that's okay. We'll survive. We will survive. Okay, good. Now, these little um, items in these little corners here, you can get them by just walking from the higher sector. And so that's not too difficult, really. Um, we're full on health, but I would like to get some armor. And more ethereal arrows. And I want to get the Shadow Sphere. This might be useful in this map. So. What I want to do is jump down here. And if you do that, there's going to be some Saber Claws up here you're going to have to deal with. And a lot of Gargoyles. So, just deal with them one at a time. I'm not interested in getting these enemies to attack each other because it's such a small area. And I remember one of the episodes in, uh, one of the levels rather, in Doom 2, that had a lot of enemies in it. You can get them to fight each other, but here it's kind of difficult to do that. In that level you had a very large area, I think it was called the Suburbs, it's map 16 of Doom 2. It was a large area where you could uh, have the monsters attack each other. But here you can't really do that effectively. You could probably do it, I just can't get it to work effectively. So what I want to do is go up here. And if we go up here... And we're great on ammunition and health, by the way, so that's wonderful. Um, want to get that arrow. Uh, this, by the way, this big block is the glacier. I think they call it that because it looks like a big block of ice, kind of a glacier. I wouldn't go into that teleporter just yet, because that's just going to take us back to the beginning. What I would rather do is go this way, and see this stained glass window? I'm going to go here as quickly as I can, and I missed it. But that's okay, because um, there are a lot of enemies up here we have to deal with, so... I'm going to use the mace. Here, the fire mace. Okay, great. Let me make sure there's not another one over here that we gotta deal with. Okay, we're good. Now I'm gonna try to get this stained glass window here. I'm kind of glad that happened that, that way because if you didn't, you'd have to worry about those enemies separately, so... There might be a surprise in that stained glass window, so... Let's see if we can get it this way. I kinda wanna make sure I've aimed properly. And there we go, and then here we go, we got an Iron Lich here, so just kind of go to town on it. And ignore the fire as much as you can. There we go. You could use another weapon, but, you know, as long as you hit it squarely, you're going to be okay. And the ice is kind of annoying, but, you know, it could be worse. I want to go into that little area, though, because it does count as a secret. So let's go up there. It is kind of annoying you have to do it kind of three times. If you have the Wings of Wrath, you can only do it, you could do it once, I suppose. I missed it. This level is kind of annoying. So. Let's try it one more time. And here we go! And this is a secret here that you definitely want to get. And if you go over here, 
You see there's kind of a texture that's misaligned. Don't worry about that just yet. But what I do want to do is go out of the way as quickly as I can. Because we've got a bunch of Disciples of Despero. And I don't like dealing with them in um, faraway quarters with this because you have to just kind of hit them individually. And then let's see if we can get the rest of these guys. And there's a lot of quartz flasks in here, which is nice. Just go to town. I mean, just go through it. Watch your health. Like here, watch your health because I was really low. So I'm going to run off and heal. And run back and see if we can deal with these guys. Got it. And hopefully... We'll be okay. There's another quartz flask. Good. Said there's another quartz flask, so let's use that. So that takes care of this area. Um, we're going to have to go and flip a switch here. I said flip a switch. Slipping all over the place here. And um, let's see. This is a good enough weapon, I think. What you want to do here is just kind of go to town on these guys. Just plow through them. Hopefully the fire's not going to hurt you that much. And by the way, these are wear minotaurs. I don't know if I've called them wear dragons or not. I can't remember, but if I have, I apologize for that. And um, let's see. The teleport is going to take us to an area with a lot of monsters. Well, not many, but enough that's going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. So what you want to do is just kind of open fire as soon as you get here, because unless you go here twice, you're not going to be able to telefrag them. So that's okay. Now that we've gotten that taken care of, the next area that we need to head... Uh, first of all, let me get some health here. See if there's any other health we can grab. Okay, good. Um, we don't need that. I'm going to save it, though. But I would like the ammunition. And I got the fire orbs there. So that's good. Um, oh yeah, there's another area we could access up here. If I can remember where it is. Yeah, here we go. Just a Disciple of Despair up here in secret areas, so... But it gives us the Bag of Holding, which is nice, and there's not a secret area over here, so don't worry about that. Now we've got to go into the... the Yellow Key area. What I want to do is I'm going to pull these, um... Wear Minotaurs out just a little bit. Because if you get in here, you're going to be ambushed. And I do not feel like being ambushed today, so... There's a few strong monsters in here, and in close quarters it can be a problem. Especially with the fireballs. So, don't worry about it too much. And I'm saving the Tomes of Power for when I actually need them. Right now it's not really that useful. Time Bombs of the Ancients, let me get out of here. And take care of these guys. Okay, there's going to be a couple more in here, I believe. And I definitely want to get the time bombs. See, the problem is they get in close quarters and you can't dodge their fireballs because... There's something over here, that's the green key. I'm going to get out of here as quickly as I can. Grab some health. So, they kind of uh, hide the green key away from you like that. They trick you. So it's kind of clever that they do that. But watch out because there's a couple of Disciples of Despair around here that we would like to take care of. And another Wear Minotaur. I would probably deal with them one at a time. And we're out of ammo almost on this, so that's okay. A couple of Wear Minotaurs in here, so... Just watch it because these Disciples of Despair in that cage can attack you, and they will. Now the tricky part is as soon as you get to this part, there's uh, about three or four wear minotaurs that are going to come out at you. So if you're not prepared for it, you know, you're going to be dead. But that's okay. We can handle this. We got this. You know, I think we'll be okay. Now we've gotten that taken care of. We've gotten full health. Um, and some arrows, which is nice. I'm going to go over here. Um, let's see. I want to make sure we got these disciples taken care of first. You can see they kind of uh, have a little open area here, which is kind of clever that they show you. 
um, a little secret area, and I know I've just really screwed myself over. I'm just gonna use those. And you have to be really careful too with the time bombs because they will hurt you a lot. And if you have them set up right next to the right up next to the item you just used, then you're gonna really screw yourself over. So we got the green key. I want the KS device. Uh, let me make sure there's anything else in here I want to get. Um, there's something over here that I didn't look at. Something over here. Where is it? Okay, um... I think this is up here. Aha! I just go to town on these guys. I know I forgot a couple of them here. And we've got Dragon Claw, which I needed. And that doesn't open up just yet anyway, so I think we're okay there. Let's see, where are we going to go next? I want to go get some health. The next area we need to head to is over here. I'm going to use a Tome of Power simply because I want to. And why? Because I want to just fly through here and get rid of these guys as quickly as I can. And there's an Iron Lich over here, and this is why I wanted to use the Tome of Power. Oh, come on, you stupid Iron Lich. Actually, that was a pretty smart move that he did there. Okay, I wasted a little bit of ammo, but that's okay. And I definitely want to get that Quartz Flask and some more health. And yes, the Enchanted Shields are armors at 200%. 200 points, rather. Um, let's see, we went that way, we went that way, we went that way, we need to go this way, hopefully there's not another ambush over here. Fire golems, though. And I don't, well, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but fire golems are, um, I don't know of a way to really tell the difference between fire golems and regular golems until they actually attack you. So, so here's one secret, we got the hell staff here, which is nice. Um, Hellstaff is good. Let's see, where else do I want to go now? Let's take a look at the map. I'm going to zoom in here because I can't see Jack Squat. You can see this kind of, uh, this level kind of has kind of a neat little maze in it. So it's time to go back up here to this area that we skipped. I could use another Tome of Power, but I don't really want to at this point. Let's see if there's anything down here. Nope. Let's get these gargoyles here. Definitely want to probably fly through this to take care of that iron lich. Simply because um, that will kill you if you're not prepared for it. There's a couple of enemies up there I could deal with. Um, I think the efficacy of our ethereal crossbow is going to help us out a little bit. So We're going to be okay. Ah, damn it, you stupid disciple. There's a bunch of them in here. Probably Tome of Power would have been helpful. <laughs> Look, they've got one disciple up here, or somebody, some, one of the heretics kind of strangled up here. And there's a Mystic Urn here I'd really like to get. And we took care of them, so that's pretty nice. And I want this over here. Guess I may be full on ammo on that. Yes, I'm full on ammo. Well, I'm not. I'm not full on ammo on that. So yeah, I'm full on ammo on the Phoenix rod, so I can't really do anything there. Um, it's okay though. Now we can't access this just yet, but we'll be able to later. Oh, I want to get this too. So. But now that we've got the blue key card, I should be able to access the last section of this dungeon. Or this map, anyway. It feels like I'm going through a dungeon in a way, doesn't it? Although I'm not sure why there would be a glacier here. Oh, and by the way, surprise, these guys are just going to go to town on you. But that's okay, we can handle this. And, um, that's not bad. Oh, something's attacking me. I'm going to get a Mystic Urn out just in case I need it. So we got two of them. Um, okay. 
yeah, I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna use both of these, and I'm, I'm gonna save the Mystic Urn in case I need it for the rest of this level. Um, and this opens up the exit, but we don't want to go to the exit just yet. Oh, come on, you stupid disciple. We do not want to take the exit just yet. What this does is this opens up another area. Clever of them to do that. Mystic Urn. I probably shouldn't have used it just yet, but I don't care. Now we've got six more monsters to deal with. We can take the left teleporter or the right teleporter. So let's see which teleporter we're going to take. Aha! Got one of the secrets in the map scrolls, which is nice. Um, that's useful. So that's one of the secrets. And which teleporter did I take? I already took the left one, sorry. Let's take the right one. And here we got the rest of the gargoyles, so that's nice. Okay, is there anything over here that I'd like to get? See, over here there's a little drop-off, but we can get back to the beginning, so... And also, you could probably use the Wings of Wrath to get up there. Or you could do this, so... We got all the enemies taken care of, so I'm gonna go up here and do this and do that. Now there's another area that we want to take a look at. Now that we've got the map scroll, let's take a look at the map and see where else we can go. There's a secret over here that we need to deal with, so let's go and deal with that. I'll show you. I, well, there's two, a couple of areas here that you can take a look at. Um, you'll see a couple of things up here. Okay, so there's a teleporter here and a teleporter. Well, there's not a teleporter here. I thought there'd be a teleporter here. But anyways, you go into here, and here's a little area that you could access with a secret and another little area. And this is where we were there earlier. So I'm going to go back here. And this takes us out here. So that takes care of those two areas. And, um, you know what? I'm going to grab the health. I might as well use it. So that's not bad. And we're almost done with this level, really. The next area we need to do um, is there's a little secret um, down here you can kind of see. A little secret here. This is an invincibility ring, and then that takes care of all the secrets. So we're ready to exit the level, I think. So let's do that. This level isn't too bad as long as you pace yourself and you don't, you know, try to corner yourself in too many things here. Although we're low on armor, but I think we'll be okay. So we're ready to exit the level. Everything's done. So there we go. And the glacier is now finished. So thank you so much for watching. We've got 100% kills, 100% secrets. Item count is fine. On the next level, we're going to take care of the catacombs. So thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.